All right, so let's say that you want audio on your Gentoo machine or any type of Linux machine for that matter. I'm just gonna be showing you guys this on Gentoo because it goes over more details. You gotta set everything up manually. The go-to option is generally to use Pulse Audio, but there's all sorts of reasons not to use Pulse Audio. For one, it's a bit bloated. In fact, it's probably the most bloated audio solution that's available on GNU Linux. Uh, there's a large code base to it and it's kind of buggy, which is to be expected with such a big project like this. Plus, even with such a large code base, there's some features that are missing from Pulse Audio that you might wanna have, like support for high quality Bluetooth codecs and low latency support, which becomes really important if you're professionally editing audio, uh, I guess if you're professionally editing video as well, recording, anything like that. So if you wanna have support for things like this in Pulse, you have to add additional modules to it, which means more packages to install, more packages to compile if you're on Gen 2, which you might want to avoid, unless you're just into making your CPU compile bloat for whatever reason. Uh, but luckily we have Pipewire now. Uh, now Pipewire has been in development for a while, as you can tell by uh, some of the commit timestamps. Now this isn't the absolute most minimalist bare bones audio solution that's available. That would probably be just using pure Elsa, which is viable, especially if you're just consuming content. Um, and especially if it's just with a minimal audio solution, like if you're just gonna use one pair of headphones, if you aren't connecting multiple microphones or using a more advanced audio setup, you might be able to get away with something like this. But keep in mind that many applications don't support a full ELSA setup such as Steam, so gaming on Linux is pretty much gonna be a no-go. OBS can also be a bit finicky with pure ELSA, but you're welcome to tinker with it. Anyway, uh, Pipewire has been gaining a lot of popularity recently, and it might be right now the most viable contender for going up against Pulse Audio, uh, which is essentially the standard audio server system for GNU Linux operating systems right now. Like pretty much any distro that like sets this kind of stuff up for you that isn't like Arch or Gentoo where you do everything manually, it's going to be using Pulse Audio for the audio. Uh, so it's good to have a contender for, you know, competitor for Pulse. So to get started with installing Pipewire, first you wanna make sure that you have sound enabled on your setup. Um, so you're going to have to make sure that you have the correct kernel modules compiled in. I covered how to do this on my first sound setup video, uh, but basically you're going to wanna have the same things that I have here and then enable your sound card. So like if it's a, uh, PCI sound device, you know, whichever one here is relevant to what you have. Um, you'll most likely have this one to enable as well. And if you have like a USB sound card, like I do external sound card, then you want to also have the USB audio MIDI driver enabled. Uh, if you're using Gen kernel on Gen 2, or if you're using any other standard Linux kernel, so basically any like distro where you don't normally compile your own, then you could just skip this step. Next, you're going to want to set your use flags. So again, if you're not on Gen 2, you can just skip this part, uh, but I'm going to compile my pipe wire um, to not use Bluetooth. So I'm not going to use either the AAC or the APTX, those HD uh, Bluetooth codecs, and then I'm just not going to use Bluetooth at all because I don't have Bluetooth on my system. I don't even think my motherboard supports Bluetooth, uh, but nevertheless, I don't even have Bluetooth support compiled into my kernel, so there's no sense in compiling it into this package. Um, now, luckily, Pipewire has this compatibility layer with Pulse, so if you already built your system with Pulse Audio, you don't have to then go back and recompile all of your packages. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do that simple setup later. So now go ahead and emerge Pipewire. Next, if you're using System D, you're going to want to enable the Pipewire Sock, Pipewire Service, and Pipewire Media Session Service with System CTL. If you're using OpenRC, then you can just start the Pipewire binary uh, along with your other startup scripts inside of your Exinit RC. Uh, so inside of mine, I'm actually calling on this separate script, this pipewire start, 
uh, because it uses a bit more of a verbose syntax. Uh, so I, I just don't usually like to put that right in my Xenit RC, uh, but I'll show you what that looks like. So you want to launch it with dbus. So this is basically how you want the command to launch uh, Pipewire to go. Now you could, like, if you wanted to, you could just put it in like this, and then you want to put uh, that little symbol at the end. But like I said, I don't like to do that in my setup. Oh, and this is also what you would do if you're not using a login manager. If you are using one, like LightDM or whatever, then you want to put it inside of your uh, X profile. But if you're not using one, just go ahead and put it inside of Xenit RC. So now to do that setup where you have a Pipewire working as a drop-in replacement for Pulse, you need to edit your USR share Pipewire and Pipewire.conf. Uh, now an older version of Pipewire used to have this file in Etsy, Pipewire, Pipewire.conf. And if you already had Pipewire installed on your system, like a few weeks ago, then that may be where your configuration file is. Uh, it really all depends on whichever one is in the distribution that you're using. Uh, but if you installed it recently, like me, then look for it in USR Share. Uh, some of the Pipewire guides are outdated right now. Like if we look at the one uh, on Gentoo, that pretty much outlines what I'm showing you guys here. Uh, you can see it's telling you to go into this directory, but it's not, um, you know, it doesn't exist. Like see, there's not even a Pipewire directory. Uh, so anyway, open up pipewire.conf in your favorite text editor, and you want to search for context.exec, and you want to go down to this line here. So you just want to make sure that this line is uncommented, uh, where it ends with pipewire-pulse.conf. So at this point, your pipewire should be configured. Uh, there's a command that you can run, pactl info, pipe that into grep for server name. And so this should print out pulse audio on Pipewire. So that's how you know that you have it set up. Uh, and finally, you're going to want to reboot your system for everything to work correctly, because if you try to go and use your audio now, it might sound a bit crackly and messed up, but everything should work correctly. Uh, Pavu control, even OBS, which uh, I'm not sure if it officially supports Pipewire. I thought that version 27 was the one that supported it and Gentoo doesn't have that version yet, but it appears to be working fine. Um, anyway, so yeah, you're gonna be good with this uh, to go with a less bloated audio solution. Let me know how it works for you guys.